Today we're going to be learning about colons. Not to be confused with a colon in your body, haha. <laughs> and not to be confused with semicolons that we learned about a couple weeks ago. Okay, so a colon is a punctuation mark that you'll see in sentences. And it is a more complicated punctuation mark, kind of like semicolons in that it can be difficult to master, but I do want to bring your awareness to it. And there are some ways that we're going to use it today that you're pretty familiar with seeing the colons used for, and that's how we'll practice it. Okay. So we won't get into like the really complicated ones, but I'll kind of, um, just go over that they exist. So colon looks like this. Okay. A dot above a dot where the semicolon was a dot above a comma, right? So the colon are two dots like this. Stop and think. When have you seen two dots like this together? When have you seen a colon before? The most common place you've probably seen a colon is with time. You have the hours and it separates the hours from the minutes, right? It helps us indicate time. So that is one way we could use a colon. Okay, we could also use it to make a list of items. So for example, we could say, I will make a dessert with the following items. Colon, chocolate, strawberries, and ice cream. In this case, the colon is introducing a list of items. Okay. There's a couple other ways you can use a colon, and it would be for an ex explanation and for quotations. Okay, like you might see in maybe a script for um, a play. Okay, There are some other uses for it and that I just want to let you know are there, but we're not going to get into it today because that would just be pretty complicated. So for your follow-up, there is a document in the drive called colons. And you're going to look at colons in the two ways we just talked about the most. Time. So you're going to see sentences that say something like, our school play will begin at 8.45 p.m. And it's going to say 8.45 written in words. You're going to have to rewrite the sentence in your notebook. But yours will say, our school play will begin at 8.45 and using the numbers in the colon, p.m. Okay. The second thing that's in the document, if you scroll down, is colons to introduce a list, kind of like we did here. And I want you to have some fun with it, okay? It's a little bit complicated the way it's written, but it's just because I want to keep it open, keep it fun. So the way we're going to practice it is if you were going to the grocery store and you were going to buy a bunch of items, then below it'll say, like, sandwich. And you have to write a sentence that's using some items from the grocery list, either the list that I gave you or some items that you enjoy or you think of on your own. That's fine too. And you're going to make a sentence. So if it says make a sentence with the word sandwich or about a sandwich, I wrote the sentence, I will put three items on my sandwich, colon, ham, lettuce, and mustard. Okay. And then you're going to go down the list. I wrote that example in the document. Then you also have breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert. Okay. Have fun with it. Make sure to record every sentence in your notebook. Okay. That part's important. It might seem like a lot, but we're at the end of our third grade year for our third graders watching this right now. And we can handle it, right? It's a lot of sentences, but it's preparing us for the next level. Enjoy. If you have any questions, let me know.